On Shin Vota Shitu Ainek, Falana speaks on a delicate and Oyetelos case. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Human rights lawyer Femi Falana San has said it will be a daunting task for the lawyers of the Oshu State Governor Ademola Adelike to get the verdict of the State Governorship Election Tribunal overturned. Recall that the tribunal sacked Adelike for the voting and declared the former governor Adegboyegel Yetola as the winner of the July 16, 2022 gubernatorial election. Speaking during an interview with Arise Television on Sunday, January 29, Farana said voters in Oshin State should sue the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC for damages over the wastage of votes. The lawyer said, and I quote, What the voters in those areas have to do is to sue INEC for damages that you have wasted my votes. Looking at the judgment, I believe very strongly that it is going to be a daunting task to impeach the judgment. The senior lawyer said, what the voters in those areas have to do is to sue INEC for damages that you've wasted my vote. Looking at the judgment, I believe very strongly that it is going to be a daunting task to impeach the judgment. INEC has to be held completely responsible for what happened. Speaking for the Falana says the tribunal verdict in the case that INEC needs to go back to the drawing table so that such an experience will not reoccur. INEC will have to put it out in order if we have this in a presidential election where you issue one or two reports, it will have a crisis of monumental proportion, Falana warned. The Independent National Electoral Commission on on Saturday, July 17th, declared a delegated governorship candidate of the People's Democratic Party as the winner of the 2022 governorship election in August, in Ocean State. Oluwatoyi Ogundikpe, the returning officer, read out the result of the election. According to Ogundikpe, a delegate secured 403,371 votes to defeat his closest challenger, Oyetola, who polled 375,027 votes. The People's Democratic Party candidate was said to have won 17 local government areas while the incumbent governor secured victory in 13 local government areas. However, in August 2022, Oyetala of the All Progressive Congress APC rejected the result and petitioned the tribunal to challenge the delegate's victory. Among several issues, Oyetala contended that there was overvoting in seven 749 polling units across 10 local government areas of the state. Given it verdict on Friday, the tribunal ruled in favor of Oyetola and annulled the rest results of the July 16th Oshun governorship poll. Although the tribunal has sacked a delegate, he is expected to appeal the ruling of a tribunal and will remain in office pending a final determination of the matter by Superior Court, the Court of Appeal. And the Supreme Court. And I'm here asking myself, I thought the coming of BVA is to make sure this kind of a thing never happens. So why are we still having, you know, even after the coming of BVAs, we're thinking, you know, there'll be nothing like this. And we are still having this. This is baffling. No. I talk um these BVAs. With these BVAs, I was convinced that the people's power is going to be with them because I think if you want to fail as a governor, as a president, as a local government chairman, as a councillor, as a senator, eh? force yourself on the people. If you want to fail, make it be seen that the people bring you in. You will start misbehaving. Yes, now. Because you know these people, you are, they are not going to be able to hold you responsible. That is where you, if you want to know when a governor will fail in it, it hardly will you see a governor after coming in through the back door, he's doing things. For instance, take for instance um, the governor of Imo State. Take for instance, you see the chaos that is happening in Imo State. Majority of people I've met will tell you that it is actually because this particular governor was forced on the people. That is why things are going up like this. So you hardly see. If the coming of BVS is not going to change anything, then I wonder. I keep saying we are very creative people, Nigerians. We're very creative people and brilliant people, but the issue is that we don't use our creativeness for doing the right thing. Imagine INEC giving, you know, for, I don't even, I don't even know what to say exactly about this one. Ha! Huh. Because this matter, you get us the key leg with the plenty. To be very, very honest with you, the key leg with this matter, it too plenty. Ha! Huh. 
Okay. INEC, the commission empowered by the constitution to conduct, monitor the election, has satisfied a delegate the win of the election. The cash and carry tribunal, the cash and charity tribunal judgment should wait for Tiku's presidency. Then we will know how far. Final is outdated, Sam. My dear, this one is only a matter of wait. My own worry is if this, you know, the BVAs were used at the Oshun State governorship election. So how come now, even with the BVA being used, we are still having this kind of crisis? Is the million dollar question? How? Huh? Why are the obedience and the people that were crying yesterday? They are nowhere to be found. They shall labor in vain. This is not even a matter of obedience. This is the whether I like whether you like it or not. This is this is very sad. Now, let me explain how sad it is. I have been looking at the governorship, you know, election. I've been looking at the governorship contestant for Washington State. This is before pre election. People of Washington have been looking at them, following them closely, monitoring them, listening to their interviews, you know, hearing them market themselves, sell themselves. And they have said, okay, I'm going to be voting for this person. And they go and register for their PVC. And they get their PVC. You understand? And they bring it out on election day. Come what may, under the sun, they voted. They defended their vote. You know, even when I wanted to play a smart one of them, they say, lie, lie, you know, you are going to do the, you are going to, you are going to upload the results. And after all this, do you know what it means? This thing, if it happens, it's going to mean the, the zeal of the people who are supposed to come out for next election. Believe you me, it is not going to be not going to be much again because people will be like, you know, the video will be said, I will stand finish on that song. At the end of the day, they go see kind of people person where they like puts there. I'm telling you, you know, it's painful. And to me, I feel it is a recipe for failure of that particular government. There is nothing you will tell me. It's a recipe for failure. Because the 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 president, if that particular president now, the Supreme Court president, if he's allowed to come in. He's going to feel the people they don't like him. So for that reason, you know, go work. I'm telling you, most of our politicians that can be very self-centered. The same thing happened in, uh, what's it called, in Yomo State, I think one other state too. And it's not funny. It's not funny at all. Well, Mio, if you ask Mio, they should sue the, they should sue and the true true, just like Femi Farana said. They should sue them and ask them, you know, they should be queried on why what happened happened. To ensure that they should make sure that the people's manifestos are given to them correctly. I mean, I say people manifestos. They should make sure that um, you know people's votes are read out correctly the way they're supposed to be read. Eh? So come to the trade election. I hope this is not going to you know discourage you. Please, this should even encourage you to come out and vote. Come out me. Okay, on this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.